Hello everyone, this is Jopke and today I am going to try and do a collage uh, page. Uh, just the other day I watched a video by Violet Socks. She does the most amazing collages and uh, I was very much inspired by that, so by all of her videos by the way. So. Um, I will leave you a link to her channel in the description box. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do my own collage page. And I thought it would be fun to make this uh, clock, this alarm clock, uh, to be the center, the focal image of uh, the page. And I got all these other bits and pieces that maybe will um be nice to use maybe these flowers uh, i have some text uh paper i have some patterns in green um more flowers so yeah i will um, see what i will use for this um Working on a A4 piece of watercolor paper, I will gesso the front and the back of this page so it will uh, not buckle up all that much. Uh, and I will, I'll be working on this. So uh, let's start and see what happens. So I have gessoed my page on both sides to prevent it from um, buckle up all that much it, it does um, curl a bit but uh, not as much um, if you do only one side um, and now I am tearing out some pieces of all the images and patterns that I uh, collected and trying to find a nice way to put it all on my page um, in the end it turned out that I am uh, uh, gluing down images and pieces of paper several times so I have a couple of layers of these images um, but for now this is the first layer and I'm using an art medium uh, to glue it all down it's a it's a kind of a Mod Podge or a, a, a decoupage glue uh, I'm not really fond of it because it stays sticky for a very long time um, I'd rather use the, the Mod Podge, but uh, I have uh, a big bottle of this, so I have to do with it. Um, using my spatula also, and uh, starting with some green patterned papers uh, at first in the corners, and then um, just going uh, around my page, um, trying to find the right colors and the right pieces that will look very nice with my orange alarm clock. Um, I am using uh, some uh, magazine text paper as well. I found some uh, just random text, but it had a very nice orangey background uh, that I thought would look nice for um, my page. Um, also some uh, flowers, I believe they came out of the magazine uh, Flow, I'm not sure, uh, Flow and Happiness are a few of my favorite magazines to uh, do collage uh, pages with. So here I have glued down a first layer of all kinds of patterns and images and I'm going to tone it down a bit and give it a wash of gesso. So I've added a bit of gesso in a cup and uh, water it down and then go over my page. So it, the, the bright colors are a bit toned down. Uh, here I um, am gluing down some more uh, images. Um, but first I had this napkin from Honey in Happy Mail and the orange flowers were perfect for my page. So I already uh, tear out a few to uh, use later on in the process. And um, But I do use some uh, tissue paper as well to glue down. And of course, 
I have the focal image of the orange alarm clock and also a, a lady who is doing some uh, yoga, I believe. So here comes some tissue paper and then um, the next thing I glue down is the alarm clock with the Zen lady. And here the idea for the title of my page uh, came up. And again, I'm using some gesso and a little sponge to try and blend all the images in because they are now all have that teared edge and it needs to blend in with uh, the images that were already there. So I'm using a sponge and um, some gesso to tone down the background, but also try to blend it uh, more in. And again, I'm still not ready with gluing down uh, some uh, pieces of paper. And this is also from uh, Flow magazine, I believe and some uh, flowers and some pink uh, floral patterns, patterns uh, I wanted to glue down. So using the art medium again for that, some book text paper I also uh, glue down. And so it happens that a few of the pieces that I glued down on the first layer are not visible uh, anymore. Um, but that's kind of um, how the process goes, really. Uh, you just try and see what works, what looks nice, uh, what needs a bit more color, what area could be toned down a bit. and. So sometimes it happens that uh, some pieces of paper from the bottom layers are not visible, but um, that's how it goes. Here I am stamping a bit with the Heidi Swap script stamp and the black ink, the Stazan. And here I am uh, using some Faber Castell artist pit pens to try and blend a bit more in and make some shadowing. Uh, here I am using an orange color to um, go around certain areas on my page and also go around the edges of my page. And this is a dark gray color I use to try and make some shadows. And I happen to have a little homemade spray bottle with acrylic spray that had a kind of a peach, a very light peach color. And I thought I uh, should try that as well. And now the little flowers of the napkin um, come onto my page and I'm taking off the, the two tissue layers that are on the back of a napkin and I'm gluing it down again with the art medium and the spatula and it just gives uh, these flowers were the perfect color for um, for this page so it, it gives a nice uh, touch. To put down my title which will be a time out I'm uh, using my pencil and the ruler to make a vertical line because I want my title to be um, in a straight line, in a vertical line. Uh, so I am, uh, I, I put a line there that would be helpful to stay um, in a straight line. And uh, again, a sponge and acrylic paint, black in this case. And to um, finish it all off, I'm using uh, spray paint to splatter a bit and an eraser to erase the pencil lines. And that's, well, about it for my page. Uh, I'm inking the edges with the Stazan Yet Black also. 
uh, using this ink for the date. And then I sign it and this is my collage page, uh, time out. Hope you've enjoyed watching the process. I will leave you a link to the channel of Violet Socks because she's great. You really should check that out. So have a great day guys and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.